Hi everyone, this is David. A few people have been having problems logging in, so I wanted to do a new video. This is the latest version. First thing you do is agree to the cookies and then click on Join Free. On Join Free, you choose your avatar over there on the left and then you type in your username. It must be a unique username. The green check mark came up, so I know I have a good username, then you must type in a real email address because you're going to have to confirm that email address. And then type in your password. The password must contain at least one letter and one number. So I have to try again on my password. Let's see if I've got it this time. Yes, okay, on your date of birth, whatever birth date you want to enter, as long as the year makes clear that you are at least 18 years old. And here's your city you were born in. To reset your password, click on I'm not a robot. Agree to the terms of service. And then click on Create My Account. Now you're going to choose your plan. Uh, I recommend that since you're beginning that you go ahead and choose the basic or the free plan. So let's click on that. Now you're being told to download, download and install the Second Life viewer. You must have this viewer. This viewer is the kind of gateway into Second Life. You cannot access Second Life via your web browser. Now it takes a while to download this exe file. It is an executable file. So I'm fast forwarding through this. It could take, depending upon your computer, three to four minutes to download this file to your, to your computer. Once it's downloaded, you want to go to it and double click on it. Now, because this is an EXE file, that means it's going to make changes to your registry. Uh, you're going to have to give permission. Let's go ahead and close this out. We're done. There it is, and you see that little shield on it. And you're going to have to give permission for this exe file to run its program. So we are going to use English, and we're going to click on Install. And again, this install is going to take a little bit. I'm going to fast forward through it. It takes one to two minutes. And once the install is complete, Second Life should open up. It, on its own. If it doesn't open up, uh, get rid of the executable file and Second Life will have created a shortcut on your desktop and you can always click on that shortcut. And then Second Life begins opening it up. Uh, it's going to install a bunch of textures and colors before it opens up the sign-in screen. I fast forwarded through that. Now you're ready to log in. I'm going to log in as the original owner of the island who was a female, Lola Villiers. The key is you have to type in your username exactly as you typed it when you registered. And the same for your password. It must be exactly as you typed in when you registered. Now location, type in National University. I typed in national. It recognized that I had been there before. I clicked on login and it takes me right there. I recommend that you type in National University. It goes to the National University server on Second Life and it opens up the National University Island. It's dark, so let's go up to World, pull down to Sun, give a little light on the subject midday. Now to fly in National Life, you simply click on the F key. That'll make your avatar jump up. Then use your forward and back arrows or your left and right arrows. We're going to fly over here by Escobier, Escobier House, past the cherry tree, turn left, and land in the chat circle. And that's where we will have our first session in Second Life. And I will see you there.